Hi Virgo Sun Moon or Ascendant, this is Dane and I'm going to be doing your June 1st to the 10th 2019 that's 2019 reading for you today. Now I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting up and I want to thank each and every one of you whether you are new or old to this channel for all your support. I like to start each reading with an attitude of gratitude so thank you guys so much for being here. I absolutely adore absolutely adore reading for all of you. If you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information is going to be pinned to the top of the comment box below, meaning it is going to be the very first comment in the comment box below. It is also going to have links to the cards that I use and how to slow down YouTube videos so that you can listen to a speed that is more comfortable for you. And if you have donated to my channel, I want to thank you so much for your generosity. That is absolutely brilliant of you. I put a lot of time and a lot of effort into these videos. So thank you so much. So let's see now, Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what June 1st to the 10th, 2019 has in store for you. Virgo, June 1st to the 10th, 2019. 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 Virgo. June 1st to the 10th, 2019, Virgo. June 1st to the 10th, 2019, Virgo. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. June 1st to the 10th, 2019, Virgo. June, okay, goodness. All right, that is where the cards fell. So that is where Spirit wants me to stop. At the center of everything. Oh, I love it. We have the lover's card. Now this can represent a Gemini. This is a time frame. Oh, well, this is the time frame that we are in right now we, we just started this is may 21st to june 20th so this falls right into the time frame and this is saying here that love is going to be following you it doesn't have to be romantic love it could be in love with what you're doing but there's going to be um yeah, a passion for life there's just going to be something about love that follows you that helps you move forward you are crowned here by the seven of swords so there's something that you're walking away from mentally there's an idea that you have had or an ideal that you have had and now you're kind of leaving that behind you're taking your knowledge and your understanding with you you have a sword here on, on the ground so there's something that you have to just kind of walk away from carrying it with you it's going to be one of those things that your mind just goes through goes to when your mind is wandering it's not going to do you any service. So you're walking away from it. Your angels are carrying something that's too heavy for you to bear right now because you're already kind of bowed down, doubled over a little bit. Then you have the Queen of Cups. Now this can be a strong connection with a water sign, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer, but this is healing, beautiful love, moving you forward. Now the Queens, for me, the Queen represents a time not a time, but okay. So a king is like an actor on the stage. The king are the people who are seen. They're the actors on the stage. The queens, they're more behind the scenes. So they're like the directors. So I have here this queen energy. So it's saying that during the first 10 days of June, you're going to be more behind the scenes. You're going to feel comfortable, especially with your emotions, with your feelings of them not being forefront for everybody to see. You are looking at the days, the weeks, the months, the years to come, and you want to be in a place of love. Now you have been through a bit of a winter. Now that's very interesting because you're crowned by your mind and you're rooted by your mind because of the swords. They represent the mind for me. So here you are, spirit is trying to connect with you, but there's a disconnect, disconnect, there's a discontent. So there is something here. You've been through battle after battle and now, and it can't even be with love. You know, you've been through battle after battle with what you love, with getting you to find that person that you love, you know, something to that effect is going to be different for each and every one of you, but you have that armor on and there's, yeah, spirit is trying to connect with you, but they can't fully because you have this armor on. You're going through a bit of a winter here too. So this is saying kind of loosen that armor up a bit if you can. You're definitely being noticed. Now this is very interesting because we have the queen of cups, which is saying, you know, more behind the scenes, more of the director, but with the magician, okay, with the magician, the pairing to the magician is the is the high priestess and then you can also have the high priestess and the hermit which is another pairing but you have the pairing with the magician and the magician is seen so this is saying that as you look towards the future there's some place that you want to be there's some way that you want to be seen that you want to move forward in so here or it can, it can be even though you want to be more private 
during the first 10 days of June, you kind of want to take things in a bit more, understand them yourself, people are going to take notice of a lot of things. So just be prepared for that. And you're also standing before the altar of your existence, claiming your power. Then we have the Ten of Swords. It's just feeling caged, feeling overwhelmed, you know, really looking at things and thinking like, oh my goodness, how am I going to move forward? But this is the darkness before the dawn. Then you have you right here. I love this line. This is very powerful. You have you right here, slowly and steadily moving forward towards what it is that you want, towards what it is that you love. Yeah, again, you have right across, you have the lovers and then you have the minor arcana lovers card. There is love coming into your life. There's beauty moving you forward. There can even just be, it can be a connection of the masculine and feminine aspects of yourself, that healing, that healing love that is guiding you right here with the two of cups. Yeah. And you're getting God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe is handing you a gift of love. You're taking it, and this time is all about it's all about beauty, it's all about harmony, and there is a sense here that you that there's doubts, there's fears, there's worry that maybe this is just too good to be true, that you won't be able to move forward towards what it is that you want, that things somebody or something is going to mess it up. You know, you might even be afraid that you're going to mess things up, Virgo, and that you're not going to be able to move forward in the direction that you want to. Step back, calm, center yourself. Because yeah, here you have the repeat of the number two, which is a pairing number. So that is a connection, kind of like, yeah, kind of like a couple, of course, because a couple is two, but it's it's a connection with somebody. And I very much see it with this water sign, this Pisces, this Scorpio, this Cancer. Now, it can also be with a, with a Gemini, but... I really see this more as the time frame. This is the beginning of the Gemini season. This is right in the Gemini season, June 1st to the 10th. And this is you embracing what it is that you love and moving forward. There's a conquering of the mind here. You yourself, and I, I don't mean to say this disrespectfully, but there is something that you are overcoming that has been holding you back. All right. And it's going to be that you can move forward in such, such beauty and such power. It's almost like and I don't mean this to be rude, but kind of get out of your own way here. Yeah, because there's doubts, there's fears, there's a reworking of things. And this is within the mind. So this is within the self. So once you have that conquered, everything else is going to open up for you in a very real and very powerful way. Okay. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Virgo, June 1st to 10th, 2019. Virgo, June 1st to 10th, 2019. So we have nurturing and we have strength. Those are your, those are your fairy cards, your fairy guidance cards. All right. So let's see here. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. Virgo, June 1st to the 10th, 2019. Now I've already meditated upon these cards. So we have Sanctuary, June 1st to the 10th, 2019. June 1st to the 10th, 2019. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. And enthusiasm. Now, this card came and it fell upside down. All right. So I don't really read upside down cards. I like to see the message and take everything in and just see kind of the energy of everything. But with Sanctuary, this is saying to me that with this card, it is going to be a little bit difficult for you to find that sense of peace and sanctuary for the first 10 days of June. There's going to be just a sense of kind of you're going to be really hard on yourself. You're going to be achieving a lot. You're going to be moving forward. There's a huge connection to you and what you love and how you want to be and where you want to be in your life. And you're moving forward, but you're always going to kind of sit there and not always, but there's going to be kind of a feeling of, I could have done better, you know, a feeling of just like being caged and overwhelmed. So this is really saying focus on sanctuary, focus on that calm centered place within yourself. With a calm focused mind and enjoyment of each moment, you create your very own sanctuary. So make sure to take time where you just kind of time out, where you take time for yourself. And the color that's shining through here, Virgo, is purple. And I'm actually seeing the little purple dots on her dress, which just really are shining out to me. And this is the crown chakra. Healing and cleansing your crown chakra is going to be highly beneficial for you. Which makes perfect sense because of the power of your mind during these 10 days. Then we have enthusiasm. And this says, 
life is always better when you wake, wake up each day with a spirit of enthusiasm. So kind of just being exuberant about the moment, waking up for this joy, for this prosperity to lead you forward. And the color that's shining through here is red. That's healing and cleansing the root chakra. It's going to be very beneficial for you. Then we have nurturing as your fairy guidance. And it says, keep your inner child nurtured and you will thrive with vitality. That's it. Don't forget that we are all kind of based off of and built off of that inner child within ourselves. You know, that person that we were when we were very small. Then we have strength. And it says, strength is born from the will of the heart. So know here, most definitely, your heart is so strong during these 10 days. If you focus on what it is that you love, if you focus on the way that you want to move forward, you know, right here, this is going to, this is saying that you get it. I mean, you open up with love. You open up to love. At the center of everything is the lover's card. This is healing, beautiful love. This is the angels blessing you. This is harmony coming for you. This can be a Gemini. This can also be the time frame that we are in because we entered into the Gemini time frame. So this is really just, yeah, we entered into Gemini season. So this is really just embracing the season, embracing the duality of your spirit. All right. And you can also feel pulled in two different ways to what it is that you love and what it is that you know you have to do. So finding that balance is also going to be very important for you, Virgo. And what you love can also, it doesn't have to be romantic love. I know everybody looks at the lover's card and thinks, oh my gosh, it's romantic love. It doesn't have to be. It can be very much moving forward towards what you love, creating, you know, building, joyously understanding within yourself. You know, it can be a hobby. It can be yeah, it can just be something that brings you joy. And that's kind of what you're going after. You're going after for these 10 days. Then you're crowned by the Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords is moving forward. The Seven of Swords is cutting through doubts and fears. Very much so because you're taking your weapons with you. This is being, this is gathering up your information. This is gathering up all your knowledge and moving forward. All right. You have the angels carrying something for you that is just a bit too much. It's, it's too heavy. It's too much. You're looking at it and you're saying, okay, I need, they need, they need to help you because this information is going to be valuable to you down the road a piece. But right now it's not valuable. It's just too much. You have the sword on the ground. You have to leave something behind. It's something that plagues you. It's something that when you think of it, it doesn't bring up happy memories. It brings up struggle. It brings up difficulty. You're leaving that behind. Then we have the queen of cups, the queen of cups is a water sign, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer. The Queen of Cups, oh goodness, sorry about that. The Queen of Cups also represents love. It represents a beautiful love that is guiding you forward. All right, this could be falling in love, but this is also saying that with your emotions during these 10 days, you're going to be more comfortable with them behind the scenes. And you're actually going to see things start to move forward behind the scenes. It's going to be by observing. It's going to be by understanding. It's not going to be through kind of being that actor on that stage that everybody sees, this is going to be something more subtle. So if you are looking for love to come into your life, you know, a romantic partner, this is going to be somebody who's more subtle. This is going to be somebody who's more behind the scenes. And this is going to be your energy, you know, lining up with their energy to be more subtle, more behind the scenes. All right. But it's going to be absolutely beautiful. If you aren't looking for romantic love, this is saying that as you move forward in your passion, as you move forward towards what it is that you love, this is going to be something that you work on kind of by yourself. This is going to be something that you really, you focus on and you, you build and you understand. Okay. So this is going to be, this could be a side project, but this is something that you really work on. You cultivate and you go after yourself. You're also rising above chaotic emotions. People are going to have chaos around you or they're going to want to pull you into chaos or, you know, yeah, there's going to be chaos around you. There's going to be something that really kind of wants to pull you into it, you're not about that life. I mean, seriously, you can, you can get involved in it, Virgo, most definitely, but you're rising above it. Or at least the Queen of Cups very much wants you to. And this is just very calm. This is very serene. This is, this is like a safe place to rest your head kind of thing. This is, I'm just seeing the Queen of Cups is saying, you know, embrace what it is that you love and move forward in serenity. You're looking towards the days, the weeks, the months, the years to come. You want to always be able to embrace what it is that you love. You want to always be able to move forward in passion. You are looking at the bigger picture and you're saying, this is where I want to be. And you're cultivating it. You're going after it. You're creating it. 
okay? Because here, you're not just focused on these 10 days. You're focused on so much more, all right? And that can be very much so where your mind is kind of getting overwhelmed because you're focusing on so much more than just these 10 days. And this is kind of telling you, savor this moment. Very much savor it. Then we have the Four of Swords. This is information coming to you within your dreams. This is the angels blessing you. There's a bit of a winter that you're going through, hardships, difficulties, you know, really sitting there and saying, oh my gosh, you know, am I going to be able to move forward the way that I want to? And you can even feel that the love that's coming in or this warmth here that I'm talking about right now. And you can think, oh my gosh, that's really nice, Dane. That's for somebody else. It's not going to be for me. You know, I don't even know what you're talking about. So if that happens, if that's, if that's you at this moment, kind of loosen up on the whole, um, on the way you have yourself contained, kind of the armor that you have on. Because as you loosen it up, you're going to find that you start getting messages from spirit, that things start changing, the winter starts to thaw, your angels are right there with you, guarding you, guiding you. The tree right here, this is a nymph, this is a woman who's in hibernation. So you're going to find yourself coming awake to move yourself forward to that place that you want to be. We have the magician. Now we have the repeat of the number one here. So this is saying, seize moments, you know, be number one. I know that sounds funny, but this is power. This is, you know, this is going after what it is that you want. So there's a power to you and it has to do, it has to do with love. It has to do with love. People are going to be taking note of you. And I actually believe that for a lot of you Virgos, this is going to be kind of the opposite of what you want. You want to be able to move forward quietly, you know, serenely embracing your enthusiasm, but focusing really on your heart's content, on what your heart desires. But this is also you standing before the altar of your existence and saying, this is what I want. This is where I'm going. And this is where I'm heading. And nobody and nothing is going to stop you as above. So below as you think it, so it becomes. So the only person that can get in your own way, well, to get in your way is going to be yourself. Because as you think it, it will happen. And that can be kind of overwhelming at times. So pay a lot of attention to your thoughts as you move forward to your mind. That's going to be so, so, so important for you, Virgo. The Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is an interesting way to end because we have such a lovely reading here. And the Ten of Swords is feeling caged. It's feeling overwhelmed. It's feeling like there's chaos around you. Uh, feeling half drowned with emotions. So know that kind of at times your mind and your emotions are going to be at war with you. Okay. They're going to make you think that you're not heading in the right direction. They're going to build up this sense of anxiety. They're going to make these huge stories of how you're failing and how everything's falling apart and you can't possibly be moving forward. Okay. Stop, stop, center yourself and focus on your heart, your soul, yourself, because that's really going to help you get to that next level, to get to where it is that you want to be. This is the darkness before the dawn. This is the doubts, the fears, the negativity that comes before you banish them and say, you know what? I can instead of I can't. So stay strong, Virgo. Stay strong because you're going to kind of this energy here is going to try and totally take you off course because here you have these doubts and these fears, but you embrace love. You're looking towards the future and that love comes again. That love comes again, that healing, that beauty. The Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. This is your, these are your clarifying cards. This is your direction, okay? You are moving towards what it is that you want, what it is that you love, and you're healing. And then God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, is handing you this gift of healing. And it can bring on tears. I mean, definitely, you can feel, and you may very well feel, just overwhelmed by emotions, Virgo, in these 10 days at times. Let yourself feel it. Let yourself feel it. We say sensitive like it's a bad word. You know, oh, just buck up. Don't be so sensitive. Don't be, you know, so namsy pansy. No, let yourself feel your emotions because it's the healing that's moving you forward. You have your armor on, okay? You are prepared for what the wor world has to throw at you, but you're moving slowly and steadily towards your prosperity, towards your abundance. Now, I know you might be thinking, okay, you say to lo loosen the armor here with the four of swords, and then you say armor up with the knights. Our life is hard. Our life, our world, living my favorite quote, quote by Catherine Hepburn, living is the hardest thing we do. After all, it kills you. You know, here, it's saying that it is hard, yes. Have your armor on to defend yourself. Have, have your armor on against, against the rest of the world, okay? Because sometimes you're going to be put in situations, you're going to be pulled in directions that you need to kind of have that hard shell around you, right? Especially as you're moving forward towards your prosperity. But here at night, when you are alone, when you're alone with yourself or with, with a partner, okay, when you're going to sleep, embrace what it is that your soul wants 
and your soul is saying it wants that connection with spirit. So open your heart up to that connection. Then you have the two of cups. This is healing, beautiful love. This is the angels blessing you. There's a fragility to love. There's always a fragility to love. Nurture it. Grow from it. This could be a coming together of somebody that you adore. Okay? This could be a love. It doesn't have to be a romantic love. It can be, you know, just being with a person who you absolutely adore being with. A friend, a, a sibling, you know. It can even be a parent, you know, just somebody who you adore being with, who lifts you up and who helps you just have that sense of safety and security around you. It all depends on who you are and where you are in your life. You know, this can be, again, this could be a friend where you just need that person around you to say, you know what, I got you. And if you don't have any of that, then this is saying that the angels are around you and they're saying they got you. They, they have your back. Okay. Don't be so worried. They're connecting with you. They're trying they're trying to come in and, you know, help you move forward in a way that brings about peace and beauty. This is also saying that there's a healing going on. You take this gift, you take this gift of love. It can come with, with tears, but it moves you. It moves you to the next step. It moves you to the next place, and it sets you free. Your subconscious message. The Knight of Wands. Passion, creativity, guiding you forward, okay? You might feel that your passion and your love at times are not the same, which I know sounds odd, but it can be that what you're, yeah, the way that you want to move forward is in opposition, sometimes from your passion, but this is your passion and your love guiding you to that place. This could also be a strong connection with a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius, but this is also saying here that their fire right now, make sure that you tell them that you need their fire to be soothing, healing okay healing fire cleansing fire okay instead of all consuming because this is a time of peace this is a time of love all right virgo this was a lovely reading i'm so glad i got to share it with you i wish you nothing but light love peace and happiness if you've made it all the way to the end bravo thank you so much for sharing this time with me thank you for giving this reading a thumbs up thank you for subscribing to my channel i'll be reading for you all really soon bye guys